Good Sunday night, meteorologist Kerrigan Chauvin here breaking down how hail forms. We do have the threat for large hail throughout our region as we head into our Monday night and throughout the day today as I was forecasting I've gotten a lot of questions from people wondering how we're expecting large hail whenever it's not going to be that cold outside for tomorrow. This is a misconception that we need to see cold temperatures to get ice falling from the sky. This in the form of a hailstone. Hail can form any time of the year, not just during the cold, uh, the colder months of winter. We can see hail in the summertime. We can see hail form in August. It's all associated by strong updrafts within a thunderstorm. Where the hail forms up in the cloud, it's cold there year round. Thunderstorms can range from 30,000 to 40,000 feet high. That's about seven miles up into the sky where it's a little chilly up there, cold enough to withstand some super cool water droplets. And that plays a big part into how hail forms. So those frozen water droplets are swept up by updrafts, which are just going to be winds feeding into a thunderstorm, fueling it to keep its strength. Additional layers of ice form each time that hailstone is swept up. So we see those super cooled water droplets continuing to pack on to the outside of the hailstone. This makes it not only larger, but heavier. Eventually, the weight exceeds the force of the updraft and the hailstone falls to the ground. And that's the time frame where we see it impact us here at the surface. Whether it falls and dents the hood of your car or poses damage to the roof of your home, you really want to play it safe as we head into tomorrow. So park under a carport or a parking garage if you have the opportunity to do so. Meteorologist Kerrigan Chauvin reporting.